When you are working on your API and you try to send a response to the client, it's possible to get this error. And uh, the reason is because your response is not being um, having the correct format. Okay, like in this case, now it is happening in my in my API. And let me explain to you uh, this uh, API that uh, gets and send information about books. Okay, now I have some endpoints, the normal endpoints. And uh, let's check the first endpoint. This gets information about all the books. In this case, I have two books here, uh, The Odyssey and Harry Potter. When I try to start to create a new book with the same name, it is trying to send me an object, a response object. And uh, it should specify uh, a description for that, for that error. Now I'm going to try this. Okay. Execute. And okay, this is the this is the error. And let's check what is happening uh, in my application. Okay, going to stop this. And I have something called a middleware. Okay. A middleware is a piece of code that can intersect the request and the response uh, from the API because it is uh, injected in the in the pipeline. Okay, this is the pipeline. The pipeline is um, a kind of sequence of method methods that are executed. Um, before the request uh, reach the endpoint, okay? And after the request uh, leave the endpoint, I mean, when you are sending the, the response to the client. Now, this is the sequence of the pipeline, and I'm setting this, uh, this method as part of the pipeline and this is part of my my middleware okay what it does it intercept the exceptions that happens in my application okay now when i try now i'm moving into the controller when i try to create a new a new book it is verifying if that book title exists in the database using this line of code if that book uh, if that title exists it's going to throw an exception and that exception is going to be catched by this middleware okay this is a way to centralize um uh, the exception handling because everything is going to be centralized and it's going to be managed all the exceptions are going to be managed by this this method okay uh this is a delegate and the most important uh line here is when i try to modify the response okay in this case I'm trying to uh, specify what is going to be the response or the content type. I'm telling here it's going to be a JSON. Okay. Then uh, I get information for that uh, for that mis for that error, and then I overwrite the response. Okay. And what I'm going to send, I'm going to send a custom object with two properties. It's success, it's going to be false, and the message. 
message specify the error. In this case, the message is going to be this. The book is duplicated. Now let's back here to the middleware. And that object is going to be converted into a string because this method, uh, the first parameter is, uh, is a string. Okay. Now, if I uh, convert it to a string, um, it doesn't matter that it is going to be a JSON. Okay. Because I'm specifying in this line, it is going to be a JSON. The response is going to be a JSON. Now, it's necessary to, um, to use a method to convert uh, this object into a JSON. And I'm going to, uh, to go to this uh, custom object. I'm going to go to definition. And a way to do it is using the Newtonsoft NuGet package. Okay. And in this case, because I'm using the to string uh, method, I'm going to overwrite that method. I'm going to use public, overwrite to string. You see, this is this. In this channel, there is another uh, another video where you can get more information about this method. Okay, and what I'm doing now. Now, I'm going to um, to convert um, this object using the, the function uh, JSON convert. It's a method, and I'm going to serialize this object, this class. Okay, and that's going to be the response or the return. Okay, now it is ready. And now here, this function, this method is going to return uh, the, the, this information with uh, adjacent structure, with the curl braces and all those things, uh, the key pairs, and though that specific structure for, for adjacent. Now I'm going to execute this again. It's going to run the uh, this the, this uh, kind of backend, and I'm going to try to create um, a book that exists now in the in the database. And as an answer, uh, we're going to get that object with the uh, specific JSON format. Now. I'm going to use the uh, post endpoint. I'm going to use Harry Potter. The book exists. It exists now in the database. And I'm going to secure this. Okay. The exception was raised. And the middleware catched that exception. Now, this is specifying the return. Okay, return value created, creates the object, and, and specify the format. That's a JSON. Now, as a response, we get the James JSON that corresponds to the object I, it was modified. In this case, it's the process response. I'm going to go to definition, and this method is uh, converting the object into a JSON. Okay, we can see the properties, success, and message, as we have here. Okay, this is a way to solve this problem.